So, if you have issues with strobe lights, just close your eyes and pretend you're in a happy place. And demonstration will be over momentarily. Okay. This ball is what you're focusing on. Okay. If you can't see the ball, move so you can. Okay. So, um, here's what the ball looks like when rolling slowly in a strobe light. Okay. Here's what a ball looks like moving quickly. Slow, oops, slow, fast, slow, fast. Do that. Tell your neighbor what you saw when it was moving fast versus slow and why you saw it. Okay, so when it was moving fast, what did you see? When it was moving fast, what did you see? Was the space between the balls, the image of it, Closer together or farther apart when it's moving faster? Farther apart. farther apart. Okay. The strobe light flashes at equal time intervals. Okay. If it's further, if the image is further apart, that means it covered more distance during the darkness. When it's on, on covered that much distance during that time interval versus on, on, it didn't cover much distance here, so it's moving slow. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, so a strobe light diagram is a, another pictorial way to describe motion. So we've got a strobe light diagram, and we're going to also use a motion graph. Thank 
you. Tell your neighbor, tell them why. Correct answer is? Correct answer is B. Beautiful buffaloes. Okay. Moving at a constant velocity to the right corresponds to a constant velocity on a position versus time graph, constant slope. Next question. Do not influence or be influenced by others yet. up when you have a guess. I'm predicting a good conversation because there will be disagreements. Have a conversation and with a reason. Okay. What do you say? Okay. Usually it's a conversation between B and C. The correct answer is B. Okay. You're moving fast here. So steep. You're moving slow here. So shallow in the negative direction. Okay. Here's the correct way to think about it. Flashes are happening at equal time intervals. One Mississippi it covers this distance. Two Mississippi it covers this distance. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. It is not covering much distance. Okay. And this last five Mississippi. Therefore, it's going slower. If you said C, here's why you thought so. And here's why that's not right. Probably. You thought it was like, it's not how that works. Okay. Does that make sense? Equal time intervals between the flashes. You're covering less distance here. Okay. Slow. Fast. Good. Next question. <laughs> D 
do not influence or be influenced yet. Not yet. Wait for it. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Have a conversation. Tell your neighbor why you think so. Okay, what do you say? Correct answer is D, dangerous dinosaurs. Here we go. So you're covering a small distance in one Mississippi. Corresponds to a shallow slope. Here you're moving fast, covering a big distance in like four Mississippi, whatever. Steep slope. Here you're covering a small amount of distance in like eight Mississippi. Shallow slope. In the positive direction. Good? Next question. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Converse. <laughs> Okay, what do you say? Correct answer is B. Bouncing babies. All right. So blue is moving at a constant velocity. The orange starts slow and speeds up. Shallow, steep. Good? Okay. This is, listen, listen, listen. This is the same diagram. What I did here was let's pretend my strobe light could go through the whole color spectrum. Every flash, zero seconds, red. One second, orange. Two seconds, yellow, so on and so forth. Does that make sense?
Thumbs up when you have a guess. Tell your neighbor. Correct answer is Okay. So it was B. Correct answer is B. Bouncing babies. Bouncing babies. Okay. Here, they're right together. At one second, they're here. Two seconds, they're here. Three, four, five. Good with that? Okay. Zero and five seconds. All right, velocity versus time graphs. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I I got people like, well, I'm like, all right, fine. It doesn't totally matter, but. Tell your neighbor. Correct answer is A. Correct answer is A. You're starting slow and you're speeding up in the negative direction. You start close to the x axis and you go away from the x axis in the negative direction. Good? Next question. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Talk to your neighbor. Speeding or is it going down? Or is it slowing down? Or is it going down? 
Okay, correct answer is C. Correct answer is C. Good job. Start slow. Speeds up. Slows back down again. All in the positive direction. So you're above the x axis. Same scenario, different question. Keep it to yourself in your brain. Have a conversation with yourself in your head. With not without engaging your vocal cords. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Have a conversation. Correct answer is Correct answer is A. What? Your, your blue is moving at a constant velocity. Here you're starting slow. And you speed up. Okay. Good with that? Okay. Last question. Thumbs up when you have an answer. Do not talk yet. Okay. Everybody has a hypothesis. Don't say anything yet. Make sure, see if your previous answer confirms or denies your hypothesis. Does, does this answer, the answer to this question, support or contradict your conclusion, your hypothesis? For the sake of time, correct answer is D. Okay. How do you know? The top one's moving at two dashes every second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay. This happens on the bottom one between two and three. Does that make sense? It's going two dashes. One miss, like... To Mississippi, it's going that far. That going that far in yeah. that time interval. Good with that? Okay. Real quick. This was a hard question. Okay. The way that I organize my lessons starts easy and perpetually builds. 
more and more difficult. So every question feels a little stretching. On a test, I just throw you into something like this, just straight in. Like my test questions are medium to difficult, okay? And they don't get on-ramped, like here, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, got a lab quiz tomorrow. Make sure those labs are done.